When you walk into the Ramona Library, the first thing you notice is how open and inviting it is. They see the colors, they see the vibrancy of the architecture. The Ramona Library is not unlike other county libraries. It's a nerve center for the community. Ellie Slade calls it the People's University. We have people that come in here that might be from the college, they might be from the senior center, they might be babies, but they come in here and they see the possibility of light and opportunity and inspiration, education for themselves, and we greet them at the door with that Hubble stained glass. The Hubble stained glass was not part of the original design of the building. The Friends of the Library, an organization with offices at many county libraries, thought it would be a good idea to have permanent artwork installed. That's where Judy Nahosel came in. I'm the art liaison between Friends of the Library and the library. Being an artist herself, the most prominent name that came to her was that of James Hubble. I thought that he should come and uh, see our facility and then let him choose what he felt would be a significant place to design something. To understand the art of James Hubble, you really have to spend some time at his studio. It's off the highway on the way to Julian, down a quiet dirt road. You can see his buildings pop out of the hillside like giant mushrooms. Well, this is uh, our home and studio, and we've been here since 58, and we built uh, most everything ourselves. There's eight buildings and another under construction. The new building will house the Ilan Lale Foundation, a 30-year organization that reflects the philosophy of James Hubble. It's trying to bring people together uh, in both nature and art. It does a, a lot of things like sponsors lectures and conversations. People come and visit. Well, I thought I was going to be a painter probably started seriously when I was in high school. And then after I got out of the Army, I couldn't get into the painting department at Cranbrook. So I got into the sculpture department. And then I got into architecture because Anna and I wanted to build our own home. His connection to nature can be seen all over his property. Well, we're nature. We're part of it. We're part of the whole web of life. We act as if we're not. James doesn't like to name his art. He wants people to be open to interpret what they see. Like Stravinsky said, music is the space between the notes. In a sense, it's uh, what you leave out where the meaning is. And if you name it, you've, you've taken the chance away from the viewer to name it for themselves and find out, well, what does it mean to me? He's taken a different approach when it comes to the work he's done for the libraries. I like when I do something for a library to have a literary reference to it, but I don't want it to be so that it traps a person, you know, like that's a cow, so you can't see anything else but the cow. His installation at the Ramona Library was given the name Laurel Passage. Well, I, I think entryways are really important. Like a piece of music, it's the prelude. It sort of tells you where you are. It gives you a sort of hints about what's, what's to come. The entrance is really nice architecturally, but it was like it didn't tell you anything. That's not the case anymore. When it was finally installed, uh, people were just in awe. It's a captivating piece. He wanted to meld with the landscape of Ramona, the history of Ramona, but also with the architecture and the color of this building. It's something that can definitely be seen by everyone that comes for a book, but is captured by his artwork.